In a previous video, we looked at a population model where reproduction occurred as a completely random process. In this video, we will analyze the behavior of the solution to this differential equation. We will not solve it although we could, we will use the same techniques that we used to analyze the logistic model without solving it. We observe that there are two values where the derivative is zero. And since the derivative is the rate of change of the population, those values correspond to the population not changing. One of those makes clear intuitive sense. If the animals have gone extinct, the population remains at zero and neither grows nor shrinks. The other doesn't have an immediately clear meaning, but it's certainly true that if we let the population eat equal delta divided by k, this would be zero, and therefore the derivative would be zero. So far, so like the logistic model. When is the pop population decreasing. The population is decreasing according to calculus when the derivative is negative. And the derivative is equal to this expression. So it's decreasing if and only if this expression is less than zero. K is a positive constant. K came from multiplying a bunch of positive terms together. And certainly the population is never negative. I mention this because if you have an equality, you have to be careful in equality. You have to be careful when you divide both sides of it by something. If you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative term, that would flip the direction of the inequality but KP is positive, so we'll do this division, both sides by KP, and zero divided by KP is still zero. So the population is decreasing when it's less than delta divided by k. What does that mean? Well, what if you have this as your initial population? You're less than delta divided by k, 
so the population decreases. As the population decreases, it stays less than delta divided by k. So the population keeps decreasing until it reaches extinction. So that's not good. According to this model, if we have a small initial population, the animals will go extinct. What if we have a large initial population? Well, the sister question to the one we just asked is, when is the population increasing? And to answer that question, it's literally all of this, except each of these inequalities is flipped around. The population is increasing if P is greater than delta divided by K. So if we have a large initial population, our population grows. And of course, as our population grows, it remains larger than delta divided by k. So it keeps growing. If we have a large initial population, the population explodes up to infinity. That's not good either. I mean, it might at first blush seem like it's good for the animals, but no habitat can support an unlimited number of any species. If an animal population goes to infinity, it will destroy its habitat and ultimately itself. So neither of these situations is appealing. Either the species goes extinct or it completely overruns its habitat. And going back to what we said earlier about how many animal species seem to have these elaborate mating rituals, well, what we've just seen is admittedly making some assumptions that will not be quite true. If animals just rely on random chance for reproduction to occur, it's going to end in disaster either way. They'll go extinct or they'll destroy their habitats. So it makes sense that reproduction should be a more complex complicated process than that, and that we might expect to see these mating rituals that we do, in fact, observe in nature.